What's up, guys? Bloodmod14 here, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! War Bit Memories. Uh, last episode, uh, long story short, uh, SGR, you know, got real. Yeah, yeah, the storyline got real. Uh, we found out that uh, Simon. Uh, you know, has some roots in, uh, with the sorcerer's forefathers, and then Haishin was trying to steal the puzzle. It seemed like Seto was trying to also... Priest Seto kind of seemed to have his own agenda as well, as far as stealing the puzzle. He seemed to be, like, almost betraying Haishin, but then he kind of, you know... Uh, when Haishin showed up, he pretended like, oh, no, no, I brought them to you. And it was crazy, it was crazy. A lot of story stuff last time. And, but in the end, uh, Haishin beat us in a shadow game, but we shattered the puzzle as Prince Flood uh, in order to, you know, somehow go into the inside the puzzle with Simon and uh, escape to another timeline. And now we're here at the, in the present, you know, with regular Joey, uh, regular Yui, Taya here, and Seto Kaiba, and there's some kind of tournament going on. Uh, so in this episode, we're gonna tr try, I don't know how many people we can uh, meet today, but let's leave the shop. Good luck in the tournament. Thanks, Taya. Um, preliminary match number one, Yugi versus my hair. I mean, my chapter. Let's try that again. <clears throat> Preliminary match number one, Yugi versus Rex Raptor. May the most ridiculous hair win. <laughs> My dragon stem. <laughs> it's been a while, Yugi. <laughs> yeah, guess you're gonna be watching me in the finals. <laughs> All right, beef is a butthead. Gotta love it. Uh, no new cards, right? Okay, we're good. Yeah, and um. At some point, we will hit the wall, so to speak. So, yeah, wish me luck. But I'm gonna save in between each match. You guys know how it is. And we get some new music, yeah. Listen to that. Nice. All right, now we know this makes the, uh, yeah, 10,000 year white turtle. Yeah, first time we've summoned him, but 2,100 defense? Might not be good enough in this tournament. We'll find out. What you got, Rex? All right, so far so good. If they're not fusing, we're good. Any dragons? No. Um, well, in that case, let's just go with the strongest thing we can make, which sadly is uh, Wood Remains. But I'm going to show you guys the power of this guy. So we're not, there's no way we win this fight. Oh. Well, never mind. <laughs> and corrected. No, 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 but, uh, um, don't, you know, laugh at his laughing felt flower. Uh, when you're up against Rex Raptor, take it 100% seriously. You know, make the best fusions you can. Um, this guy has Dragon Zombie, standalone. Uh, and we fused for that. You know, it's solid, 1600 attack. He's also got Thunders, and he's got some crazy stuff don't have your wits about you, uh, yeah, you can easily get smoked by Rex, you know, multiple times and just outright lose, so, yep, do the best you can, if you need better cards, go get better cards, if you need to know how your deck works, go back to Deck Master K, uh, but yeah, that being said, just because we beat this monster doesn't mean it's over anyway, either, so, all right, we're gonna leave this in defense and end our turn, over to you, Rex. I draw. I play a monster and put it in defense mode. <laughs> All right. Sounds good to me, Rex. But see, this is something Rex might do. Check this out. Fuse for Dragon Zombie. And then fuse with a Thunder to make Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Don't be surprised if you see him do that. He is very capable of doing that. So, any stars? No. Okay. Well, we'll try with Wood Remains again. I doubt it'll work. Wow, twice in a row. <laughs> it's our lucky day, you know. Sometimes you get lucky and he plays like this. 
Sometimes you don't. And he plays Twin Head of Thunder Dragon with two power-ups on it. And then you just, you gotta pray for that Raigeki, man. All right, let's do Ushioni Fusion Hop. How about this? Ha! All right, this time, you know what? We will attack with Rosen Fanes again. I'm not scared. I ain't never scared. Dun, 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 dun. I like this music, by the way. Well, we got pretty lucky, if I'm being honest. I expected a lot more back and forth in this duel. Um, but maybe you guys will see what I mean now that we've unlocked him in free duel. Just how crazy Rex, dueling Rex Raptor can be. Win. He did not live up to the hype. And we get two mount dark roller. Nice. Another dino. Alright. Espel. So, okay, I probably want to go to about 232. Uh, I can't believe you beat me. Uh, I don't believe it. Alright. Looking good, Yugi. Looking good. I know, Taya. And I'm also winning. <laughs> what do you want to do? I want to say... Yes. Overwrite that data, baby. All right, let's leave the shop now. Uh, do I want to add that other card to my deck? Probably. Preliminary match number two. Yogi Mono versus Weevil Underwood. Ah, just like in Dola's Kingdom, huh? <laughs> Did he throw our Exodia cards off the boat? <laughs> oh, wait, what's his voice? Uh, ah, I am Corholio. It's only fair to tell you you ain't got a chance, you. <laughs> and my army of insects will make mince meat out of you. I'm doing like a mix of his actual voice, even some butthead, and like, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> All right, Weevil. Oh, yeah, two mount dark ruler. A dinosaur with two. Cr this looks like twin headed thunder dragon, huh? A dinosaur with two crushing jars. Jo jars. Let's strike that, reverse it. A dinosaur with two crushing jaws stores electricity in its horn and releases high voltage bolts from the mouth on its back. All right, let's add this to the deck. What do we take out? Uh, you know what? At this point, let's take out stuff that ain't fusing. Armonite? See ya. I mean, I know it can fuse, but I mean, come on. We can do better fusions. And I like Cybersaurus. All right, wish me luck, guys. Now, we will have some pretty interesting cards, too. I know I've said before, like, oh, insects don't fuse most of the time, and yada, 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 insects are weak. No, this guy will be bringing some of the good insects. Luckily for us, we drew the best starting hand for us possible. Spike Cedra and Fusion. Ha! Ha! Twin-headed Thunder Dragon, first turn. What are you going to do about that, Weevil? Huh. You gonna cheat? You gonna insert a parasite parasite card in my deck? What are you gonna do, buddy? What are you gonna do? Alright, so we got a spellcaster and a female. You know what? Let's just go with little D. Attack mode. Let's attack. Let's see how strong Weevil's cards are. Ah, a bit stronger than Rex's, huh? 2,000 defense. It's getting real. It's getting real. what a zero attack cocoon looks like attacking because you know they had to program that in right that's crazy yeah i am genuinely curious at this point i wonder all right all right twin headed thunder dragon Let's take it out for good oh i probably should have showed the animation but that's eh, okay uh, okay, so I got about 15 more minutes in this episode. Defense mode, push off. All right, so we got what do we got? We we need oh that's what we need. We need a dragon. Okay, but in the meantime, we can do the queen. It's time you meet the queen, the queen of autumn leaves. Okay, and he did have 2,000 defense last time, so let's use queen. Nice. Why does he have a tune card? But as you see, uh, Weevil's deck got some pretty good defense monsters. And 
he's not only got good defense, uh, he's got some good uh, offensive base monsters too, so watch out. Show him, Queen. Leaf Tornado. see what we can make for our final fusion. Uh, looks like we can do uh, Flower Wolf, so let's do that. There we go. And we'll go with Sun, just in case. Anything super effective? Nope. Okay. Flower Wolf, you're up. Armor, Starfish, 14. Okay. So he went, he went from 2,000 to 1,600 <laughs> to 1,014 events. Oh, that looks cool. That's fun like a record top. This thing kind of looks like Starmie, but, you know, not as cool. Supersonic. Electronic. Stop with the bleach references. What can I say? I love bleach. Alrighty, and we win. Queen Bottom Leaves, Petal Dance, ah, and Twin Headed Thunder Strike Attack. We win. Alright, anything good you're gonna drop for us, Weevil? I mean, I doubt it. He'll probably just drop some insect we don't want, but you never know. What do we get? Ooh, the grappler. And trust me, when I show that what that card looks like, you don't want it grappling anything. I am Cornholio. I I need TP for my bungle hole. I can't believe I lost. I lost. Yeah, yo, 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 my army of insects defeated by the likes of Yugi Yugi. I can't stand you. Ah, uh, well, too bad. You added a tournament weevil. I hear you're doing pretty well. What do you want to do? You know me, Taya. I almost called her Tayana. I want to say. Alright, like I said, we're going to keep going until we hit the brick wall. Because eventually we will. Eventually we will get a bad draw. So, Preliminary match number three. Yugi versus my Valentine. Ha, I said it right. Hello, Yugi. You should have quit before you face me and my harpy ladies. You're gonna regret it, hon. Oh, oh, will we, my? Will we? All right, yeah, but this is Grappler. Check this out. A devious snake with a thick body that wraps around an enemy monster and squeezes the life out of it. Now, straight up 1,300, not bad, honestly. So despite me not liking the card, we will put it in over the back. There we go. All right, wish me luck. Mike can easily beat us here. It's all dependent on luck. So if we lose, it's a game over. As usual. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Okay, not bad, not bad. I think we'll just set Armel in defense. Yeah. But we do have mountains, so. Oh, but by the way, I just thought of that. Don't play mountain in this duel. No matter what you do. Uh, because just like in the anime, her harpy ladies only get boosted uh, if you play mountain. So whatever you do, don't play mountain. Throw it away. Because I was totally about to play it. But uh, now she is wide open. So let's go with Armel first to trigger her if this is a trap. Okay. I thought she might have mirror force or something. You never know. Yeah. So. All right. Great. 
Sprains where your brains. Oh, dude, I just thought of that bridge joke. <laughs> okay, every time we attack with tainted wisdom, <laughs> we'll do the brains. Lying from bones. That's funny. No, don't go after my brains. Brains, brains, brains. Giant red sea snake. 1800 straight up. That's scary. Alright, so what's on the field? Right, so we have a warrior on the field. Ah, uh, we might have to just ditch this whole hand. This ain't looking good. So let's get rid of... Let's get rid of these two plants first, and then in with the soldier. Maybe we can have the Guardian Star? Maybe. Uh, what's good against Neptune? Maybe Uranus? <laughs> No, 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 we need Pluto. We need Pluto. I remember the Guardian Star. I remember. Uh-oh, she's fusing. Harpy's pet dragon. I summon it. Uh-oh. Hopefully she doesn't power that thing up. Because, uh, yeah. Oh, and it had the Guardian Star. So don't pick Uranus. Don't pick Uranus. <laughs> I can't keep a straight face. <laughs> okay, um... Uh, not a good hand. You know what? We're gonna play Raigeki right now. She's got two solid monsters. Let's just get rid of them. And that's why Raigeki's good, as well as Dark Hole. So, yeah, watch out. At least she didn't fuse this time. Okay, Blue Clown, 1600. That's manageable. That's honestly manageable. So, we got, uh,. I gotta end the episode here. Someone's knocking at the door. Alright, see you guys next time.